The time period was August 2011. An applicating Everton under David Moyes couldn't get result on the first day of the season against the newly promoted QPR. But a bright spark was a 17 year old named Ross Barkley built like a tree trunk. But although looking like he had dire personality, what he had was agility, skill and complete technique with the ball at his feet. All of a sudden a shining bright spark called, be called the next Gazza, the next Wayne Rooney emerging into the Goodison Park Youth Academy right into the first team. Yeah, but if you've been following football for the last 10 years, you, you just realise that Everton haven't really been finishing anything higher than 5th. But now the most surprising factor, what wasn't believed back in 2011, was that Ross Barkley would end up 29-year-old washed up Mathilda in Nice. I mean, him just going to France just pisses me off. What, what, the, what the fuck is that transfer anyway? But this is not a dig on Ross Barkley, no, no. This is a sign of better things to come. Because I just transformed Ross Barkley into year 13 and age 18 all over again. You can finally take it, his A-levels and being scouts who probably fail it again. Join a gang in the hoods of Merseyside and then sniff crack out of a fucking toilet seat. But nevertheless, this is whole, the whole point of the video. I'll be rebuilding Ross Barkley's career from scratch. All the rating that he started with in FIFA 12 at 67 overall. I, I might be wrong, I didn't do research. I piled his potential to be sky high and transferred him back to Everton to now surprise every single Everton fan being depressed and losing the patience of their own bones every single time Everton go to a football pitch. I'll be giving Ross Barkley five seasons to impress me and for Everton to win the Champions League. And if that doesn't happen, I have to shower with Coca-Cola. My original plan was telling you that I was going to shower with Coke, but this channel has promised and I need money to live. So this will end up being a rebuild of Everton itself with the players they currently have and a teenage Ross Barkley with filthy potential to the top of European football. It would be slight change here and there with all the personnel that's in Goodison Park, driving any fans to sheer insanity, but at the same time keeping Ross Barkley at all costs no matter the fucking situation. If a meteor hits planet Earth right in the city of Liverpool, or if Cardi B releases another tune that makes me bleed through my ears, it doesn't fucking matter. I still need to keep the scouse fucking tree trunk on my team. Manager of today is Martha Menopause the Bondy fucking twat, and it's, she's from Sierra Leone, where the average age of mortality is 30. So Seamus Coleman is as old as time itself and Nathan Patterson is still a baby. So I'm bringing in an actual man to be on our right back position. Wilfred Singer with his tarantula haircut. No worries for Michael Keane and Mason Holgate sticking up the place and shitting themselves every single time they actually meet a good striker. In comes Castello Lukeba from Lyon. Fun fact, it, Castello means castle in French. Uh, Lukeba in French means I fucked your nan. So he stopped showing to Brighton's training sessions and started acting big time. Moises Caicedo heading to Everton to do the same thing when we go down. But nevertheless, he'll be our linchpin as Dijusa Gara Gay is getting gayer. So the whole issue with that is now brought to attention that we have a new Equatorian midfielder to substitute him right when we need it. I have no space for Neil Moore paying his crook shenanigans into my training session. So in comes Emi with his 12-year-old face to fill it up as a backup striker for Dominic Carver-Lewin. When he gets injured, i.e. every single month. Although he does one thing more than actually get injured. Uh, wear skirt in nationalized magazines. As I reach the very end of deadline day and my legs start to shiver because I might be taking a shower with coke. I'm not producing all the departures of the club that I didn't really cover because I don't want this video to be fucking long. Andrew Stiles into Freiburg for 6.5 million pound. Michael Keane, Bile of accusing for 13 mil. And both on the same day, Neil Moore, Peter Spezia and Yeremina to, to Rossin Club so he can do his fucking stupid dances in Argentina. You are that's better than anything Everton could do in the last two years. And the fact that sitting next to Arsenal 50 points just shuts every single one of your buggers mouth. Yeah, one thing's for sure, Barkley is not playing. He's not playing at all. It's a massive fucking sign where you're one of the biggest wonder kids in English football and Seamus fucking Coleman scored twice as many goals as you. Mate, a 12 year old kid had half your appearances and still got the same amount of goals tally as you. Season 2, you horny pricks, and we just sold Skirtman for 39 million. Just realised that, yeah, he's good. He gets injured a lot. I don't need that. Get fucking sold. Also, imagine Ross Barkley with dreads and an ability to try and groom every single manager's daughter that he, of every club he goes. Then, look at Deli Alley. They're pretty much the same case. That ridiculous amount of money that were given to us for that Skirtman Dominic Carver-Lewin. We're going to sign Damari Gray and Alex Lewis. 
Toby's replacements in Will for Nonto and Asghar now for Borussia Dortmund. Of course, Keane is just shit. So we're bringing in Tammy Abraham, a boy from London that goes to Liverpool and is going to get me shanked. Kovalu and Arte Marseille, Ali to sit on the Borussia Dortmund bench and Gimbabwe to Crystal Palace to and Andre Gomez to Lorient. I, I mean, no one cares about this one. Starting 11 looks like this and I haven't figured out how to give Onana his, his sharpness. The game just doesn't fucking play him. Although if anything happens to Dinosaur Arms, Jordan Pickford, we'll put Jean Virginia in charge of our defences and in, in goal and in net and we're going to concede about 10 goals a game. Yep, we might have started the season as relegation favourite, but uh, yeah, look at us now, bitch. 80 goals scored and sick in the league we're going on european tour and we're now europa league contenders oh. team's looking so sexy oh my god let but ross barkley went from 70 to 70 fucking six Woo! 74 passing no 74 shooting actually 80 dribb dribbling 73 physical five star five star and he's still 20 years old considering looking at the whole team not a single player under the rating of 79 like pickford's at 85 singles at 85 abraham at 87 even Tarkowski grew up a rating he's 31 it's a good thing the players are actually growing on decent pace now because we have no money to sign any 15 games not that much of a change but a triple goal tally but moises caicedo still scored more it's going down i go with timber it's an announce one the boy has sent to back in Justin Timber. Ready to re replace James Sakowski because James Sakowski's going the other way to Juventus. To heal the wounds that we just sold, Vitaly Mikolenko, we just signed a woman that looks like a man, but it's still a woman. Parches, uh, one go wonder against Chelsea. E e Ellie Sims just got sold to Fenerbahce to fuck his career upside down. In fact, sold at price. I told you Mikolenko got sold to Monaco. I, I didn't tell you about the Monaco part, but team is looking absolutely sharp and nice. Main goal for this simple season it is top four simple as that or just challenge for the title we have arguably the best center forward in the league by a long fucking cock nonto and alf I mean, oh, oh, you look at that. That, that sounds like a fucking sick rap duo, isn't it? And guess what? They're both black. But the main idea re still revolves on Ross Barkley continuously developing onto a favourable character here to break into the starting eleven by season four. I mean, he, he did grow six overall from last season, so any chance we can get onto making him a superstar, surpassing Demari Gray and making him a crucial first team player. If my FIFA knowledge and amazing virgin years that I had played not my team his biggest and greatest overall ever on fifa recorded was 81 whole separate fucking case when we still don't make the top four when our team looks like this and barkley just grew to 83 rating yeah and someone on the stats department he's still outscored by alex awobi you got he gave us up he gave us up, bro. <laughs> Although the main purpose that this is the final fucking season and everything goes to count now, I decided to just sell Dwight McNeil to buy Leverkusen because the bench is arguably the main priority of everything going on right now in case of any injuries or suspension. And we're glad because we qualify for the Champions League, even though it's not on the recording, we have 200 fucking million pounds to spend on players. I'll be real with this. Man doesn't want to sell him, but he's been wanting to leave since season one. And now just getting the temp because of all the cash we can arrange pretty much revolutionize our bench to become world-class still and then to the point that toxic players like him that just create a fuss out of fucking nothing won't be around to stop ourselves from winning the Premier League innit? So say Nick I say to Napoli or RB Leipzig whatever one can make him satisfied for a couple of weeks before again he treats the same employers like he treated me uh crying in the bushes and begging his agent to leave because uh, apparently we're too toxic for him but that was reinforcement for the bench I like is T T T B D T, T B yeah T B D. As well from F C Mets Unai Karitsa just just not really play that much. He's on prospect, but if anything happens, the worst case scenario, he's our man to lead cup success. But it would just be there for the laughs to be honest. I mean, he's Argentinian, so he will be a fuck a load of fucking bullshit. But there are some people that will just keep you on your toes and laughing a lot, by the same time be inconsiderate assholes. Are the Argentinians? And since Casado had any loyalty left, no, no, he had, he had no loyalty. We're gonna sub him with another man that clearly has no clue on what loyalty is. Kessie pretty much made his name with AC Milan, then went to Barcelona and apparently he had the loyalty of a prostitute because he just went to Inter Milan instead. But nevertheless, he'll be the main crucial point of our central defensive midfield right beside Onana. And to not put that much pressure on James Garner to fail like most Man United Youth Academy prospects do, I decided just won't go inside Wilfred. Wilfred and Didi. Backup option as well as a centre-back. 
pick whenever uh, anything bad happens. 10 bucks! 16 draws! 16 draws and 6th in the league! Funnily enough, apparently he just plays well in games, but in numbers, it just like he can't really surprise me at all. He gets outscored by two CDMs, although I'll be happy to know that this video idea is actually yielding a nice development for the players that we actually choose up uh, because uh, let's be honest Barkley telling him now that he'll be playing Champions League semi-final with Everton and reaching uh the top four of the, or the Premier League at least once in his career and he'll bite off your left hand because his, his career is in a ditch now all right Ross uh you proved me wrong you actually did grow up to an 87 respectable uh but not even Tammy Abraham growing to 90 fucking 4 was able to save me. So now all I have to do is edit this video and then film the forfeit to my embarrassment again. Such a fucking sad case. <laughs> I mean, at least it doesn't taste bad.